What's good with your fam fam? Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide. I'm your boy Big Will and I'm back with this boxing talk. Hey listen man, I don't do a whole lot of Deontay Wilder videos man because I think um, there's enough people out there doing them and um, you know I just leave that to them but it is fight week. Deontay Wilder is our champion over here in America and I think that you know we may possibly uh, be witnessing something great watching Deontay Wilder, man. The WBC has came out and ranked Deontay Wilder in their top 10 heavyweights of all time, man. I think that is very, very good accomplishment for Deontay Wilder, especially because, um, you know, he does not get the recognition that he think he deserves and I think he deserves and a lot of other um, Wilder fan thinks he deserves as well, man. Um, you know, Deontay Wilder has knocked out every opponent that he has ever faced. What other heavyweight in history can say that they have did that? I'm sure we got the Mike Tysons, the Lennox Lewises, you know, the Joe Lewis. You know, we had all the great heavyweights, but none of them can say that they have knocked out every single heavyweight that they have faced in the ring, man. And I think that we right now could be witnessing something great, man. And we might not appreciate it now. Some of you might not appreciate it now, and um, but you'll appreciate it later, man. Just like Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was not revered like he is now um, during his career, man. It took Muhammad Ali to get broke down and sick and for you know people to start looking back at what he really accomplished for people to start showing them the love that 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 is known that is known right now today you know what i mean um i just think deontay wilder is definitely um climbing that ladder he's definitely starting to get the exposure the recognition that that he deserves and um you know i'm happy for him i'm happy for him i'm happy that the wbc recognizes his talent and uh you know put him in that top 10 um along with some great company man um you know, on that list, we got at number one, of course, we got Muhammad Ali. At number two, we got Lennox Lewis. At number three, we got Evander, the real dear Holyfield. At number four, they got Larry Holmes. At number five, Iron Mike Tyson. Number six, George Foreman. Number seven, Joe Frazier. Number eight, Vitaly Klitschko. Number nine, Sonny Liston. And number 10, Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Now, there's no secret that that WBC is one of the most prestigious, prestigious sanctioning bodies um, to the fighters, man. Every fighter wants to uh, someday wear that green strap around their waist, man. That's because so many of the great champions um, before us have, have worn that title, man. So, you know, a lot of these young guys, they want to wear the title that the greats have worn, man. And Deontay Wilder can actually say that that he has won that that he has worn that title. And um, you know, I think this is gonna be his eighth defense, which is a big deal. You know, hats off to him, man. Um and I think he will become further down on this list as his career goes on, man, because you know what he's doing right now is, is remarkable, man. And if he ever get a chance to, you know, if he gets past Fury and get an opportunity to fight Anthony Joshua to become undisputed champion of the world, um, should he be successful, man, I think that, you know, he will definitely climb this list, you know, by definitely by a couple, you know, a couple numbers, man. Um, you know, especially if he continue to knock opponent after opponent out, you know what I mean? And, and hats off to Deontay Wilder. Big fight coming up. In just a couple days, man, I'm looking forward to that fight, man. I respect Tyson Fury. I like what he brings to the table. It's not going to be an easy fight for Deontay Wilder, and um, I'm just looking forward to the fight. You dig me, fam? Um, but I was going through Twitter today, man, and I seen something that I didn't like. Um, Gerald Big Baby Miller, uh, he posted a picture um, with Deontay Wilder with, Deont with um, Donald Trump. You know, my first thoughts was, you know, what is this about, man? You know, a couple of days before the biggest fight of his life and you posting pictures of Deontay Wilder with Donald Trump, man. Um, I just don't see his angle, man. Like I always tell you guys on this channel, I'm never going to call a fighter a bum. But Big Baby Miller is definitely unproven, man. He walks around and he bangs his chest and he hasn't really fought anybody, man. I think the best name on his resume is um, Gerald Washington. 
And, uh, you know, Deontay Wilder knocked him out um, in five rounds, man. Um, I think Big Baby knocked him out in, like, the eighth or the ninth round in their fight, man. But I just don't understand the timing of this, man. You know, um, I think it relates to the comment where Deontay Wilder said yesterday how, you know, our people have been, you know, going through oppression for 400 years. And, um, you know, Big Baby, I think he think he was being funny or something, posting this picture you know, saying that, you know, he's talking about, you know, the black people and oppression, but yet he's in the White House, you know, shaking um, Donald Trump's hand, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's not the real reason he was there, man. He was there to support um, Jack Johnson, man. After all these years, um, D Donald Trump did a good thing and finally um, decided to pardon uh, former heavyweight champion Jack Johnson, man, and Deontay Wilder was in attendance in support of that of that part, man. And I think Big Baby just I don't know if he's trying to grab attention or you know trying to you know snatch the limelight off of De Deontay Wilder, man, during fight week. But it just makes no sense that this idiot you know post that you know days before the biggest fight of Deontay Wilder's life, man. Just something about Big Baby, man, that just don't don't rub me right, man. This guy walks around and talks like like he's he's real proven talks like he you know he fought the best competition you know he thinks that something is owed to him and he did not ner earn nothing man he's a weird funny style dude man type of dude that walks around barefoot in the hood and shit like that man the dude is just funny style man and i cannot wait to see him step up in competition so we all could see um you know what he's really made of because them fighting these 50 year old men and guys that he's outweighing by 150 pounds, man. You know, that's no competition for him, man. Um, but we'll see, man. But enough about him. This is about Deontay Wilder, man. Shout out to the WBC, you know, for putting Wilder in their top 10 um, list of heavyweights of all time, man. And um, don't forget to check me out on Twitter. And Instagram at Big Faces Worldwide, all one word. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and share this video. And if you don't like the video, hit the dislike button, but make sure you hit it twice. Peace. I'll holler back.